In the final days of early voting, we're seeing record numbers of mail-in ballots with some counties wrapping up as soon as tomorrow. News 6's Seshel Saunders has more on what we can expect now, just four days until the election. There's been a constant flow of early voters at this downtown Sanford library. The days are winding down to vote early if you want to do it in your own timing. <laughs> he just falls. <laughs> A big sense of relief once that ballots dropped and an I voted stickers handed out. It's been done more than 80,000 times so far in Seminole County. More people have already voted in this election by the end of today than will have voted in the entire 2000 presidential election. 53,000 have mailed in so far. Other counties have also experienced a surge in early votes. Convenience and urgency to have their voices heard are big reasons people give for voting beforehand. More people have already voted in this election by the end of today than will have voted in the entire 2000 presidential election. Everybody that I know, my close friends, my family, we've all voted early. There have been almost zero lines, making it quick, but that may change in the final days of early voting. Saturday is the last day in Brevard, Flagler, and Volusia counties. Orange, Seminole, and Osceola counties will end Sunday evening. Latest numbers show registered Republicans edging out Democrats at the polls. I think everybody just wants to get the vote out, and they just want to say, I've got to get my voice heard. Seminole County is expecting 75 to 77 percent of its residents to come out and vote. That's one of the highest voter turnouts in the state. Reporting in Sanford, Sashel Saunders, News 6.